it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Sylvaneth painting tutorial. Yes, today we are painting Contrast Plus How I Paint Sylvaneth Gossamid Arches. You thought we were done with the Sylvaneth, but no, we have these stunning new releases from Games Workshop here to work on. And I'm very, very excited because these units are really cool. They look awesome. They were really fun to put together. And well, we're going to be adding them to my 24 hour Sylvaneth army. So it's no longer a 24 hour Sylvaneth army. However, with all that said, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and start painting them. Now, I've got all five here, as you can see, and we're going to be going once again very quickly as this scheme is nice and quick to do. And we're going to be starting with all of the bark. They have been primed in Wraithbone, as has the rest of the army. And the colour we're going to be making is a roughly one to one mix of Black Templar and Saigor Brown. I'm going to be using this all over the top of all of the bark. Just like this. Really make sure that you take your time here as you go around because you don't want to miss out any of the kind of pitted areas of the tree bark. It's always very easy here to accidentally skip over one of these little holes, like see that one there, that goes all the way through. But there's these here, so you can just go over like that. And it looks like it's done when you first take that pass over, but just make sure you work that paint into that recess, just like this. And you wanna do this across the entire unit. And then once that's done, we will return. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to use this on any of the leaves and any kind of, well, sort of, you know, kind of foliage or Sylvaneth-esque foliage. So for example, here on the Champion, we have the sort of tabard here like this. What we're going to do with the Flesh Terrors Red. Like so, do it on both sides. We've also got the leaves at the top here. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to make a roughly two parts apothecary white to one part blood angels red mix. We're going to apply this over the top of the hair and the body. In a slight departure to what we did on the Arch Revenant, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red and we're going to play this over the top of the hair. So I want this to be like really shockingly bright. Just like that. Just to also create a little bit of variation between the hair and the bodies, but also just makes them look nice and interesting and it looks pretty cool. When I say it's a slight departure from the Arch Revenant and the rest of the army, it's because on the other ones we did this bit with Magos Purple, which is nice, but these are new. So we're going to give them a slightly fresher looking job. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to work on the wings. Now the colour we're going to make is roughly three parts Magos Purple to one part Apothecary White. And we're going to start coating this all over there. Now if you feel like you need to, just add in a little dash of contrast medium just to make sure you get a nice smooth finish here. But otherwise, you just want to get this all over the wing, hoping for a nice, as I said, 
nice smooth finish like that. Using these big broad brush strokes and just moving around. that color just like this what we can also do we can also coat this over the top of our Litter wings, whatever they're called. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. So with that done, he's looking pretty awesome. Now uh, we've got a couple of unique details here that we're gonna work on next. So the first one is gonna be this little bug just down here. And the color we're gonna be using for this is Shaiish Purple. And we just wanna get this all over. just like this, avoiding the arrow shafts where possible. Like so. And what we're also going to do with the shadish purple is we're going to colour in our big bugs on the back as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to avoid any kind of blades at the bottom. So like this large bit just here. And if they've got any kind of, for lack of a better word, tusks. We're going to avoid those as well. And additionally, we just want to avoid getting this over the top of the eyes. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the weapons. Now we're going to be using two colours. We're going to be using a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part talisar blue and warp lightning on its own. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that six to one talisar blue mix on our brush and we're just over the top of the weapon. We're just going to paint this talisar blue mix over it just like this. And we're just going to take this a section at a time, which is helpfully divided by the hand because what we're going to do is once we've got that talisar blue on there and we're happy with it nice and smoothly like so i'm going to wash the brush and then we're going to take some warp lightning then we're just going to add this on towards the ends like that just whilst it's still wet just going to Move that paint around just a little bit so it gets a bit more of a blend effect like that. There we go, perfect. And then we're just gonna continue on like this. Across all of the weapons. Like that. Similarly, once again, I'm going to grab that warp lightning and just along the end. I'm going to add it in just like that. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of it and just add it to the arrowhead as well. Just like that. 
And then lastly, we're going to take the Talisar Blue Mix and we're just going to apply it to the fletchings in the quivers. There, like so. And so with that done, we've just got one last base coat to apply and that is some thinned down Retributor Armour and this is going to be for all of our little trinkets such as this one just here hanging off our Gossamid Archers. They don't all have one. But do just be on the lookout. And of course, always make sure you remember to get the back side as well. In addition, on this, the sergeant, we're going to paint in this, which is going to be a large jewel. Like that. And I'm also going to paint in this band. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Cryptek Armor Shade Gloss. I'm going to use this to shade our gold details. <laughs> Excluding that big gem on our sergeant. So with that done, all of our base cones are now on, and these are what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, these are my own guys, and therefore I will not leave them at war hipster battle ready, not like I ever do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them to the next level by adding some extra, extra layers and things. So the first one we're going to add is Blood Angels Red. We're going to use this on all of the eyes of all of our bugs. Just like that. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part Blood Angels Red to one part Apothecary White Mix. And we're going to use this to add some colour and some blending onto the wings. And the way we're going to do this is we'll demonstrate on the back here. We're just going to take this mix, we're going to paint it to around about halfway there like that. Then we're going to wash the brush and then using a clean brush we're just going to smooth out that transition just like that okay, make it a little bit narrower like so just want to move quite quickly whilst it's still wet So, and you just want to do this across all of the wings. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Corax White. I'm going to use this to highlight a number of different features. So, firstly what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of our weapons. Just picking out the sharpest areas. Like so. We're also going to be highlighting the skin. I realize we're doing a weapon here, but you know. <laughs> so, for example, just here on the skin. 
I'm just gonna pick out these. the spines of the wings and any of those remaining kind of kind of like tails and things on the on the bugs for example these Spines just here. So, with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some full grim pink, and traditionally this is dry brushed on, but the details are very small here for highlighting, so we are just going to pick out the edges on the leaves just like that. We're going to pick out our champion's tabard. So, and then we're also going to pick out the hair. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Karak stone and we're going to dry brush this over the top of the wood. and jage purple like that So with that done, our gossamid arches are very nearly finished. All we're gonna do now is just finish off those metallics and then they're pretty much done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Vallejo metal chrome and we're gonna use this to basically highlight the gold as well as pick out our gems. So here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the sharpest points like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of Vallejo chrome over the top of what will be our large gem just there. Just to polish it up to a mirror sheen. We're gonna pick out the little gem just there on the forehead and then on this crown. Just gonna add a little bit of it coming off kind of the apex of it. Just like that, just to give it a bit of bling. So with that done, what we then do is we take some Talisar Blue. And we're gonna paint this over the top of our gems. And here we have it. Bases all complete in the same style as the rest of my Sylvaneth, a cheeky Sterling Battlemire. 
base with a dry brush of tyrant skull and then a lot of gamers grass tufts and these gossamid archers are finished they look fantastic amazing new additions to the sylvaneth range i'm really really excited to try them out on the tabletop as well as the rest of the sylvaneth army which i haven't had a chance to use yet but i surely will very 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 quick to do very very cool looking and i'm very very pleased with how they've come out really really cool models if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster alternatively you can now become a youtube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here exactly like these awesome folks have done and if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.